I'm standing in the middle of the prison from The Walking Dead and it absolutely, you know, is, is everything I would have hoped for it to be and it's just, it's blowing me away. I really don't even know uh, what to do right now. Grace Walker and his team have been working around the clock trying to get all this kind of stuff put together and ready. They've been painting dirt and grit on things to make it look like it's old. They've been uh, walking around and uh, taking uh, little bits of trash like you'll see here. This is an old keyboard and uh, just uh, throwing it around to make it look like it's uh, a prison that has been rioted and uh, left and abandoned and everything. I never imagined that I would be here standing in this prison. It's, it's really strange to think about all the pages coming in from Charlie Adlard, you know, seven, eight years ago when we were doing the prison storyline in the comic book and watching the way he drew the prison cells and all the little nuances and stuff we put in the comic book prison and then to see people looking at those comics and taking inspiration from that and then constructing it in real life and being able to actually go on to second levels and walk upstairs and go in cells and stuff is absolutely just completely bizarre. You can totally, uh, you can totally go up here. Things that are in comics should never exist in real life. I just, I feel really uncomfortable here, frankly. My arms are actually stuck in these bars. So here we are in cell three, I believe it is, in the old prison which is uh, pretty unnerving. This is my first time in a, uh, in a prison cell, which is pretty exciting. Uh, uh, I'm sure it won't be my last, but uh, we'll talk about that later. Um, so uh, these aren't as secure as you might think they are, but uh, the doors are really solid. It's pretty awesome. And then uh, if you come in here, pretty comfy accommodations. You know, you got your uh, mattresses here. I would uh, lay down on one of them, but uh, they're kind of uh, scuzzy right now. And then uh, here's my favorite thing about this room. Uh, if you uh, take a look over here, this is a fake nasty toilet. I think that's like wax or uh, something. Uh, it could be urine and feces, but uh, I don't think it is. You can't go wrong there. And then you've got, uh, you got people out here causing a commotion. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, you know, it's just really amazing seeing this all come together. I mean, watching these walls and everything, uh, uh, you know, be put, uh, put together. The, uh, the prison is absolutely bizarrely amazing. I don't even know, uh, you know, what to do here. I mean, you can, uh, you got little stools here. Sometimes when I'm on set, I sit here and I work. It's a lot of fun. I get my laptop out. It's, it's comfortable here. It's, it's a nice place to work. Coming into season three, getting to see this prison, watching it all come together. You guys have no idea what is coming, but I can promise you it's gonna be absolutely thrilling, absolutely amazing. And anyone who's familiar with the comic book series knows that the things that start happening once Rick and his group get to the prison are the things that make The Walking Dead what it is. The most memorable, exciting, gut-wrenching, terrifying moments of the comic book series happen in this place. And season three is just gonna blow seasons one and two out of the water it's gonna be crazy so be on the lookout jeez the walking dead season premiere sunday october 14th only on amc for more exclusive video go to amctv.com